Hello guys, so the Bro Shazza raid teaser came out. It's pretty funny because I was waiting from 7pm KST on my stream, which was their usual time, but they released it at late 11pm. I thought I was not able to watch it, but someone in chat told me as soon as it released, so I'm glad that he told me. I made this quick video to talk about the raid, plus my static group to share with you guys. Bro Shazza Chapter 2 Requiem of Floating Nightmare is going to be eye level 1670 and 1690. You will be getting T4 Relic Bracelets and Normal, and T4 Ancient Bracelets at Heart. You will also receive Remains of Karma, which is a new item that can help you craft Ancient Gears faster, or use them as new progression called Karma. Basically, Karma is another gold sink to level your damages further, or get additional Enlightenment points for your Arc Passive. So basically, you get Remains of Karma to open up Karma, and then when you open up Karma, you can level it up up to 15. And then when you level these up, you get additional points of enlightenment or additional weapon damage, etc. All this stuff. So it's a side thing. And pressing it requires you to use the new Chaos Stone, which is called the Stone of Destiny. You have a chance to upgrade it up with Pity System involved. Other than that, we will need to try the system to understand more. As for bracelets, these can also be obtained from dailies that are 1680 and above. And also, nowhere in the roadmap letter specifies that your T3 bracelet can be converted into them. So essentially, all tier 3 bracelets are obsolete when this update happens. The new tier 4 bracelets have cool attributes though. We don't know what all the effects are, but the screenshots have something like 5% attack speed movement speed increase, or something like 8700 weapon attack power, and getting additional 150 weapon attack power per stack every 30 seconds that stacks up to 30 times. Or your skill cooldown increases by 3%, but damage increases by 7, so they're really unique stuff too. On top of your re-rolling your bracelet, and there's also a reset coupon to re-roll even more. There's a limit of 3 times, and these coupons can be obtainable at Broshaza Raid Gate 2, and they also mention that there will be NPC traders to use Remains of Karma, which is a reward for Broshaza Raid, to trade for coupons. The raid looks super cool, and I'm always excited to prog it right away when it comes out. I want to talk about our static now too. Going over me first, I will be progging with my blue gun esser. I did make additional videos for red, blue, and personal thoughts. Feel free to look at the video for more info. The raid trailer doesn't seem to have maps and patterns that require you to have high mobility. If it does, I can switch to red anytime. It will cost me only silver to reroll gems. Next, we have Devil Brown. She has been playing with us since the Amain the first race. She is bringing her PS Shadowhunter. Apparently, she told me that PS Shadowhunter has a lot of back attack skills now, including her new X skill. So out of all DPS members, we decided to bring her to Party 1. You will also hear the reason in a little bit too. As for those of you who don't know, where people still ask this so many times, the new Entropy and Arc Passive does not give you damage penalty for not back attacking. It's basically crit rate plus 10 plus 20, and the directional skill crit damage just gets 16 to 32% damage increase. But you can still get the crit benefit or damage benefit from universal head attack and back attack modifiers. Some classes still require to back attack, but most classes don't require you to back attack or head attack all the time. Next, we have Wineblue. He switched from his Paladin to Blade. He's a DPS member now. We had this conversation a couple weeks ago. I asked him if he wanted to play his Blade for Bro Shaza due to adjustment in members. Since he is having a lot of fun with his new RE Blade, he agreed to come with us as a DPS for this raid. Next, we have MJ. She's been playing with us for a while. She'll be bringing her Esther 8 Bard. Not only Esther 8, her buffs are really powerful due to her new accessories and gems. Basically, if comparing to similar 1690 Pug Bards, sometimes the numbers feel about 30% the difference. It's actually pretty big. We are very lucky to have really strong good support players to make our prog run very strong. Moving on to party 2, we have Saint Tone. So last time we chat, I believe he is switching to his Sorceress for Broshaza progression instead of his Breaker. So we moved into party 2 because it fits much better. If he decides to play his Breaker though, he can switch positions with Rung again in party 1. Because both of his Breaker and Sork is Omega strong because he has full relic books with great accessories. And he's a really good player to the team too. Next, we have Syla. He has joined our team since Egir. He's a really good Arcana player that plays Inferno content a lot too. If you guys are interested in Arcana information, this guy's definitely the person to ask. He's really good at the game. Next, we have CL. CL has been with us since the MI days. He is coming with his Night Edge Soul Eater. His spec is also really Omega strong with his new Ancient Accessories and Elixirs. He's probably switching his gems back and forth because he has multiple Soul Eaters. Last party to support, we have Giga Chad. That's his actual character name. Most people call him Giga Chad because his actual nickname is Muscle Man. He's also a new member to our team. He has replaced Alba Man. He has replaced Alba Man the Glavier. Unfortunately, he could not join us due to his IRL issues. Interesting thing about him is he has designed the anniversary skin that you guys have recently for Shushires. He plays 6 paladins and his main paladin is Esther 9. He's also super well known in the Korean community. We're super lucky to have him in our team.
With that, I will end the short video here. I wanted to create a short yapping video as I always do before a new raid. It helps me remember things really well. Hope you guys liked the video and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys there. Bye bye.